Guys, welcome back to my um, YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this video, we will be looking at the second part of chapter three from the ICT ICT course. So chapter three, storage devices and media. Please check out the previous video. Uh, we've looked at um, what is a storage device, storage medium, and looked at some, um, mag let me say it again, magnetic storage devices. So the obvious one being a fixed internal hard drive, hard disk drive. So we're going to be now looking at um, solid state drives, okay? So this solid state drive here can also be the, the main backing storage device in your computers. And due to its size, um, its compact nature, it's most commonly used inside of laptops. Okay, so solid state drives, um, storage devices are based on electronic circuits with no moving parts. Solid state storage devices stored data using a special type of memory called flash memory. So what is the um, advantage of using um, these solid state drives? So the most obvious advantage would be the size is smaller and compact. So obviously it can fit inside of a laptop. Um, when you start up a computer, so if you had a computer with a hard disk drive or solid state drives, the boot up would be quicker with a solid state drive. Um, there's no moving parts, so this will lead to a silent operation. Uh, to transfer data is going to be much quicker using solid state drive um, compared to a hard disk drive. It consumes less power, and as mentioned, the smaller in size, which reduces the weight of the computer and makes it more compact. However, it's more expensive per gigabytes compared to the hard disk drive. And you have a limited number of read and writes before they wear out and produce errors. So the hard disk drives, you could probably read and write more data to them over a period of time. This has a limited number. However, since there's no moving parts, um, the hard disk drive with its moving parts could start working over a period of time as well. So it's one or the other, basically. Right, so let's have a look at this typical exam question here. So modern laptop computers use solid state drives rather than hard disk drives okay state three advantages of using ssds rather than um, hard disk drives in a laptop computer so as mentioned if you have a solid state drive the startup of the laptop is going to be faster so the boot up the ssds consume less power than a hard disk drives so it conserves the battery power obviously if you have a laptop and you're not plugged into the mains um, since the size is much smaller, it's going to reduce the weight of the laptop. And obviously it makes a laptop more compact if uh, the size of the hard drive is much smaller. So you just need to put three things down for this answer. This is just an extra point if you want to make. And you can see the key parts I've highlighted in yellow. Um, you can also have these other solid state drives. Um, so it could be a USB uh, stick or pen drive. And these can be plugged into your computer. So these are all removable and could be used to transfer files um, or back up your data between computers. Uh, advantage would be it's portable and small. It's robust. So obviously, if you compare it to CD, uh, ROM or Blu-ray or DVD, um, you know, you could probably drop this and it's probably going to still be working. Um, if you were to like a drop a CD-ROM or if we got a slight scratch, then some of the data could be unreadable. Um, so it's more robust. Um, I've had CD-ROMs in the past where I've had them in my bag and then we've gone from A to B and then I've got to another place, opened up my bag only to find the CD-ROMs being cracked um, in the bag that's um, is broken. So these are more robust. Uh, they tend to have larger capacities. Uh, there's no need for additional device uh, drivers or software to run the usb um, sticks or pen drives in your computer however it could be easy to lose uh, usbs could be damaged if not ejected correctly and both things have happened to me once upon a time i lost a usb uh, stick drive and a taxi and i was gutted i'd lost a lot of work hadn't backed it up and if you are not ejecting the usb drive stick properly then uh, the next time you plug it in, um, it may not be able to read the data from the USB drive. Also, memory cards. 
Okay, these can be used to store files on digital cameras, mobile phones, MP3 players. Very small and can be removed and placed into other devices. Again, very robust. Uh, smaller storage capacities compared to USBs uh, and quite expensive per gigabytes. And then you have all these other um, cards as well. So you've got your SD cards, um, have a maximum capacity of approximately 32 gigabytes. Um, XD cards have a smaller capacity of two gigabytes. So the XD memory cards are not compatible with all types of cameras and other devices. And then you have CF cards used for higher end digital photo and video recording, so 4K. And CF cards provide a data transfer speeds of up to 600 megabytes per second. So if you are recording high definition um, content or 4K content, it's probably better to have a CF card. Um, an SD card would be the most commonly used uh, card inside of a, a digital camera. Uh, because there's enough storage capacity to store videos and pictures. Obviously, your XD card has a very small capacity compared to the other cards. Okay, so you got the storage medium here and the device there to read the data from the medium. So here are some exam questions. So many students prefer to store data on external storage devices like pen drives. So pen drives would also be another name for like a USB drive or USB memory stick or portable hard disk drives. Um, so describe four advantages of using a pen drive rather than a portable hard disk drive. Um, so this is not solid state. So you can see here we have looked at uh, two types of portable hard drives. Uh, one could be solid state where there is no moving part, where there is yeah no moving parts. But if it's a hard disk drive, you will have moving parts. So with any solid state uh, drives, there will be no moving parts. So you can say it's more robust as there's no moving parts. Solid state drives will use less power. Um, it will be more portable due to being small in size, um, has faster data um, transfer speeds, okay, and access as well. Another exam question could be for each of the following types of backing storage, uh, give one example of its associated media. Your answers must be different in each case. So optical, uh, you can just put down either CD-ROM, DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, magnetic could be either a fixed or portable hard disk drive. And solid state, you could say um, a memory stick, a USB uh, stick, pen drive or a flash card. So you don't need to put all the different things like I have. You can just put one or the other. And let's have a look at this question here. So compare and contrast the use of a fixed hard drive, a portable hard drive, and a USB drive. So a fixed hard drive is a primary storage device found in a computer system. Application and system software will be installed onto the fixed hard disk. Is less prone to damage because it's fixed in the computer, whereas a portable hard drive and USB drive could be damaged when injecting. In addition, a fixed hard drive will have a higher capacity compared to portable and USB storage. Files can easily be transferred between computers when using a portable hard drive and a USB drive. However, the USB drive will be more portable than a portable hard drive due, due to its smaller size. Both the portable and USB drive is used to backup files. However, the portable hard drive will be used typically to backup larger files. So try to think about the key points about um, each different type of um, you know hard drive. So either the fixed hard drive or the portable hard drive. Um, obviously, the fixed one will be installed in your. We will be installing application system software onto the fixed hard drive. The portable one would be used. You know, normally when you're backing up data, pictures video uh, usb drive may be used um, if you're just backing up work related files so you're not necessarily files of a big size and we have come to the end of chapter three guys okay so please drop your comments below like and share the video good luck in your exams and look out for the next video so i'm going to be looking at chapter four computer networks thank you again okay bye bye